Welcome to Quick Tech News, where we keep you updated in the world of tech without wasting your time. We kick off this Friday with bad news, at least for those looking to buy graphics cards or games consoles. The Nvidia RTX 3080 card went on sale yesterday and it very quickly became obvious that online retailers as well as physical stores did not have enough stock. In the US, Amazon, UEG, Best Buy and Nvidia themselves are all listing the card as being out of stock. Physical stores had on average between 10 to 15 cards in stock, often with 30 to 40 people queuing up throughout the night to pick up the new card. You may think that's a ridiculous commitment for a graphics card, but that's gamers for you. Whenever demand is much higher than supply, you can expect prices to hike. Hopefully that won't happen to authorized sellers, but we're seeing a flood of these cards being auctioned off on sites like eBay, for prices up to a ridiculous 2500 US dollars. Nvidia have had their fair share of backlash from the launch. Many users on Twitter have been complaining about their notify me emails, which didn't go out in time to users before the cards went out of stock. Nvidia have since responded with a statement reassuring customers that they are shipping more cards every day to retailers. This would be a prime opportunity for AMD to come along and launch their new cards whilst customers who want to buy Nvidia can't. But since it looks like we won't be seeing anything from AMD for over a month, they will probably be late to the party and by that point Nvidia will have picked up the pace for delivering their cards to retailers. It's the same story with the PS5. With some retailers they ran out of stock within one minute of the pre-orders appearing. Now it seems most if not all online retailers are out of stock. Ford has announced that they'll be investing up to 700 million US dollars for a new facility to build their upcoming electric F-150. We only got this slight glimpse of what the car may look like, which is vague enough that Ford can still make all kinds of changes to the design without having to let us know. In any case, an electric F-150 is a big deal. The standard F-150 has been the best-selling pickup truck in America for 43 years straight. And even more crazy than that, the best-selling overall car in America for 38 years running. In 2019, they sold one every 30 seconds or so for the entire year. So if the electric F-150 can start making even a small dent in the sales of the regular car and grow over time, it'll be a huge deal to reduce our carbon footprint and lower emissions. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could like the video, subscribe and tell your friends to help get this channel off the ground. Thanks and see you next time.